or if you haven't downloaded the WIBW weather app yet, I do encourage you to do so. Uh, we can send updates to you uh, whenever we have situations like the ice from this morning, especially getting a tornado season. I want people to make sure that you have this. So a way you can download it if you haven't already is just point your phone at uh, this QR stamp right there and uh, follow the directions on your phone. So take the phone, bring on the camera, whether it's an iPhone or Android or whatever it is that has a camera, just point at that and I'll leave it right there for the weather segment so you can uh, try it. If you have questions, drop me a line on Facebook or on uh, email and I'll try to walk you through it. So tonight, icy roads are possible again tonight and tomorrow morning. Light freezing rain expected and dense fog also expect this night and tomorrow morning. So freezing rain, um, some people will refer to sleet as freezing rain. So as the raindrops are, are falling as, as ice pellets and they bounce, that's sleet, which you can kind of drive on. When it's freezing rain, that's what forms this glaze. Comes down as all liquid and it freezes after contact. And that's what uh, is extremely dangerous to drive on. I don't expect to see a widespread thick glaze of this stuff, but uh, there'll be enough of it to create slick spots on your, your driveway, your sidewalks, uh, streets, especially the main roads are treated many areas, but you can't guarantee that it's, it's clear everywhere. So just be extra cautious. By about 8 o'clock tonight, the pink showing up here on Supercast indicates some freezing rain, some freezing drizzle, and some glazing. Again, not thick, but it doesn't take a lot to cause a lot of problems. So it's going to continue on and off through tomorrow morning. And temperature should climb tomorrow uh, after sunrise, easily in the upper 30s. And it shouldn't be a problem after 10 a.m., but use a lot of caution tomorrow morning and tonight if you have to be on the roadways, wherever you might be. Right now, it's still 35 in Topeka, so warm enough freezing drizzle isn't an issue. 34 in Concordia. Uh, we are all looking at conditions that are warmer than freezing. Uh, so we're having some melting even going on. But tonight's temperatures dip slightly below freezing. Uh, some icy spots are likely. Live look from Emporia downtown right now, seeing some fog already with the temperature just 33. Burlington has 33 degrees. And again, we're watching for this rain to the south. This area of pink showing up on the radar as the computer is, uh, is analyzing this and seeing temperatures at or below freezing at the surface and that colder pocket of air with the rain is moving to the north. So through the evening, that area of this freezing drizzle and some freezing rain is moving our way. Again, timing this out sometime around 7 or 8 p.m., we'll have a chance to see at least some of this glazing, including on streets, uh, some of the highways are possible, uh, and uh, your sidewalks, driveways, whatever it might be. Just be careful walking and driving. And tomorrow morning, give yourself extra time for that commute to work and make sure you check WIBW.com and our apps, of course, uh, in case we do have any closings or delayed starts like what we had uh, this morning, that kind of thing can come out kind of late. So uh, you need to be uh, bet ready to, uh, to adjust if that kind of thing happens. So tomorrow morning, freezing drizzle, light freezing rain, slick streets are possible. 38 degrees by the afternoon with fog, and there are no Arctic temperatures on there. No more ice after tomorrow morning, and a uh, temperature should be a little more tolerable.